Roll for Funko time. 15, not bad. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe to see our videos, and also hit the bell for notifications when we post. How are y'all doing today? I'm Otaku Kent, we got another Funko haul for you. And yes, I am in the same shirt as the last Funko Pop video. Like I said, we are doing a whole bunch of them because we have a lot to do. I wish you could see the pile I'm looking at. And if you hear noise going on, I am sorry. Dishes. Dishes. We got Greeks in the house, they're smashing plates. <laughs> Opa! Mazel tov. All right, so if you can probably guess, today we have Dungeons and Dragons Funko Pops. I'm a big D&D &D nerd. I'm a DM. I'm a player. Dan's a somewhat of a D&D &D nerd. He's played a couple times. I'm currently in a session with some guys on VR chat, which is actually not that bad. Although the dice are probably pretty janky. There were times I throw one of the dice up in the air. It'd be like this. Because you, you can toss dice and they go... But sometimes it goes... Hey! <laughs> Alright, well, so let's get right into it. We're going to go from the smallest to the biggest. Uh, these, have, we've had them for a while. Uh, we're starting off with the 2021 Summer Convention Limited Edition Xanthar with a D20. Uh, Xanthar, to those who do not know, is the beholder that is in charge of, who has basically has an infinite amount of knowledge. He has his own book, Xanthar's Guide to Everything. It's the great big book of everything with everything inside. <laughs> See the world around us. This book's the perfect guide. Sorry. Get, well, you get on with a pop, I guess. <laughs> get on with it. <laughs> get on with it. Um, yeah, he has a beholder. He has one, two, three, four, has seven eyes, sharp teeth, and there's a D20 in here, which you all know I'm a dice goblin. I want it. But I refuse to open it up, so I'm being tortured. Must have. Precious. They stole it from us. There's the dice right there, all yellow and stuff. Next, we're gonna go on to probably the most bizarre Funko Pop I've ever seen. Um, it came out fairly recently. Uh, it is a mimic. Okay, so for those who don't know, a mimic in standard terms is usually a treasure chest monster that will try to, it has teeth and a tongue and, you know, it tries to eat people uh, or creatures that try to open up the chest. It's a trap. And uh, this one is a mimic of a pop figure. There's no better way to put it. It's got a... Uh, a blue D20 in here as well. It's supposed to be of Minsk and Boo, but it's literally a mimic pop figure. Yeah, you can if you spin the box around, you can see the Minsk and Boo pop figure on the box. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like, but it looks like that. So yeah, definitely more than interesting Funko Pops. More uh, creative, at least. Yeah. And now, finally, we're going to go on to the Queen of Dragons herself, the birth mother of the Chromatic Dragons, Tiamat, the Queen of Dragons. Uh, she is the birth mother of all Chromatic Dragons, the green, black, red, white, and blue dragons, all uh, capable of breathing all uh, five elemental breaths. Uh, this one comes with a green D20. Again, one to open, can't. Uh, and this one was for the 2021 Fall Convention. It gives you a clue of how long we've been holding on to these. Uh, this one came out more fairly recently, and it's, uh, it's a, she's a heavy girl. That's a huge bitch! Wasn't, uh, wasn't she actually on the old D&D &D cartoon series from, like, the 80s? Yes, that, in the first episode. Huh. When the newbies showed up and said, oh yeah, you're facing Team at Roar. Ah! Well, just like a D&D &D session in general. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. There. So what do you choose to do? 
Guys? <laughs> yep. <laughs> That'd be my thing. Nope. Yep. But yeah, she's a heavy girl. Box is a little dinged up, but I mean, I can't really expect it, especially with something so heavy. Uh, but yeah, that's actually going to do it for today. Um, what do you guys think? Uh, do you think they should uh, put the, D the D20s outside of the box so I can keep them? Or should they uh, keep them in the box to torture me? Which one's your favorite? It's between Tiamat and Mimic, because Tiamat, I love dragons, for one thing. A five-headed dragon of evil and, car and chaos is very amazing. But I have to say, give more props to the Mimic, because of how... How, creative it is. How creative it is. Because usually Mimic is just a, an Tre actual treasure chest. Yeah. This one is actually has eyes and everything. Yeah. Well, I mean, even the treasure chests have eyes. Okay. Well, just remember, don't touch this one like your last camp. On, on, on the on first game ever. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I want to touch this chest. My hand cannot move. <laughs> and it's a Mimic. <laughs> Uh, but that's going to do it for today, guys. I'm Tucker Kent. I'm Viet Dan. Hope you all a blast. We love you guys. Don't forget to love each other. And don't forget to stay random. Keep... Peace out. <laughs>